Okay, so here's a um, talk going back to business. Um, uh, I'm doing a lot of engineering and now I want to kind of talk about our Department of Commerce. And uh, I, I, I just go read during the day and just, just try to assimilate information so I can break it down for you guys. Well, I was reading an article, or I was on the Department of Commerce website, and they said they were very proud of the fact that the U.S. economy only has 6% energy. So if here's, a, I'm going to do a little table, 6% of the U.S. economy goes into energy. And this was something they were very proud of. Now, what I also, I also want to bring up is that in business, you have this thing, marketing people have this thing called a value proposition. And what a value proposition means is what is the reason, what, what reason do I have to buy your product? What I want to, what's the value that, that I have for your product? Now, what, when I see the 6% energy and I see a gallon of gas at four bucks and I see that we went on the manual labor um, video, I think number three, we saw that manual labor it was a 500x manual labor. So we, we looked at how much a gallon of gas, a dollar of gas did in terms of manual labor and um, assuming people work at seven dollars an hour. Uh, we, we were getting 500 times our value you know, a dollar of gas to a dollar of manual labor, 500, 500 times. So I, I, I'm talking about oil all the time. Actually, I'm, I really have a problem. <laughs> I live with this stuff. Um, I talk to people, and they, since the last year, they said, hey, you're really astute. You, you predicted that oil price would go from three to four bucks. And I, I think like I, that was what I was talking about, that this new, these new $4 gas prices, and I, I, I no I, I no no that that's not what I'm talking about. This little step that's three to four dollars. This isn't even what it's coming. This is nothing. So I want to put the value proposition to the Department of Commerce so that I can say to them uh, what I think will happen to the U.S. economy as uh, as we lose oil. So right now we're at at six percent, but let's assume that gas goes to eight bucks. Why not? Not with taxation, just eight bucks a gallon. Well, obviously the manual labor, prop, the value proposition in manual labor will have dropped to only 250x because now we're, it's costing us per gallon. Well, you know, this would probably scale up to 12%. So the DO, Department of Commerce say, okay, 12%, not as good as six, eight bucks still has a 250x value proposition on manual labor. So, this is what I want to say to the people who listen to me all the time. Let's start getting into some bigger numbers. Now, uh, 16 bucks a gallon. Now, that's, that's, that's what I'm talking about. These are the numbers that I'm visualizing as oil depletes. Guess what? It still has a 125x value proposition to manual labor. So if you say no way will gas ever get to 16 bucks, why wouldn't it? it I will still buy it at 16 bucks because I sure as heck don't want to dig a ditch. If, if I need to dig a ditch, I'd rather have a gas do it than 100. It's going to cost me 125 times more to have manual laborers do it, dig a ditch. This is still worth 16. It's worth 16 bucks relative to the, the, the opportunity or the alternate cost of, of manual labor. So now the U.S. here is going, okay, well now 25% of the U.S. economy is now in energy. Well, let's think about this. Do you think that you can put a, a drag parachute behind an economy, load it up from 6% to 25%, and assume that the top end, the big number of how much is there, won't come down? So this 25% assumes that the economy just keeps re rolling along and we only raise the, the energy price. But this will actually go, get worse because the economy will shrink, shrink, shrink as this is coming up and up. Let's do it one more time. What if, uh, this is what, this is it, this is the, to me, the collapse, the collapse of the U.S. economy, the world economy, is that when gas hits $32 a gallon, 
we still have a 60x value proposition on manual labor. Now people are going, okay, all right, we're getting close to using horses. Well, it's, you know, it's still a 6x value proposition on horses. Um, well, we can drop the minimum wage to a buck. Well, it's still 10 times that. So out here, it's, it's, not, it's not that great, but because <laughs> you're getting close to parity with, with horses and people, but now you'd have half the U.S. economy <laughs> in consumed in energy. Now this one is, there's, there's no way, the, the machine is cla crashed here, it's done. I mean, you don't, you don't get the 32 bucks because, well, the, the U.S. economy has fallen apart. I think, it, I think this is the threshold at which the U.S. economy can take it. You can, the, this drag will bring that top line down and this might be 30 40 percent and I, I think it gives out right here i do believe that the top end gas price that we can see before the bottom falls out is about 15 16 dollars so the people that think that i'm astute because i've seen the rise from three to four bucks we are not anywhere near the price of gas in the future and so this is this is kind of my High-end view, um, going back to marketing and, and making sure that there's a there's a reason that you want to buy a product, and this is the reason that you want to buy these products is that you get an amplification on your labor. Um, that's about it. I'll I'll wrap up the Department of Commerce.